Hi, I am Topman Paul Dickey and this is Coach Tribe Extra. In this video, I want to teach us how people are able to format their readme because this is one of the things I wondered. I mean, I, I, I kept wondering why, how, how do they do it? Is it with some special apps? You will see several readme files looking so beautifully formatted with bulletins, sometimes tables. Uh, you will see links, you know, attached to them such that if you click on the link, you will be taken to another web page or website. And I kept wondering why, how, how did they do it? What app did they use? I didn't know that VI and Emacs could do this thing. Look at this test looking big like this. I didn't know that VI and Emacs could do that, could do it. Now, let me show you one of my readme here, uh, where I used, I made it, yeah, this one. I made it look like a table. Look. I made a table. All these we are not done on any special app. I use Emacs to do this thing. So, how is it done? How is it done? I have a repository here called Format Your Readme, and I have a copy of it on my system here on Gitbash. I cloned it. So, this is how I'm going to be pushing the work I'll be doing in this video, you know, as demo. Yes. So, first of all, you've got to, you've got to understand that. Uh, readme is a markdown file how do you know the the file extension tells us the format of the file but what, what do i mean by file extension now every you know every readme has dot md right you may have observed dot md dot c is a file extension dot py is an example dot um, jpeg dot jpg dot mp3 dot 3GP. When you see these things, you, you can tell what file type they are. You can tell, except you don't know them, right? So we have, um, yes, we have, um, we also have PNG, right? PNG is a photo, MP3 is audio, you know. So MD is markdown. That's why you have it as readme.md. You're putting .md to show that it's a markdown file. So all markdown files have their own syntax. Talking about syntax, let me take you to Slack and show you that Slack even uses syntax. It's just about adding characters to normal tests to make them look in a particular way. Look at this. Look at this. You me see that I sent um, this user earlier. This is your thing here. We're produced by syntax. All right, so let's try. Even on WhatsApp, this thing works. Just watch how I will make these tests not look like ordinary tests. Again, so the boarding a set of tests or a word or a set of words you put asterisk at the beginning and then i will add one at the end if i add one here see what happens it becomes wood interesting now let's italicize some set of tests as well this sentence down here if i add underscore at the beginning here and add underscore at the end it becomes italicized you can see that now let's um let me write a, a line of code so if I put back tick at the beginning of any word and put, wherever I, I put the other back tick, it will turn to a, a line of code, right? If you talk to, watch this. Now you can see that, right? So if I put three of these back ticks, see what happens? See what happens? I want to write some code now, see. Yeah, so I press enter twice to escape the command of the code block of code. You can see that by yourself. By the way, back tick is um, somewhere under your escape button if you're using my kind of keyboard. Now let's try bulletin. Only hyphen, putting hyphen and putting space produces bulletin. So I just keep typing. When I don't want to do it again, I'll just enter, press enter twice. I'm out of the, the bulletin now. Let me try numbered, a numbered list. Okay, so once I put number one dot and space, it's, it will start putting number two, number three until I press enter twice. You can see, see how formatted it is. By the mind you, to be able to achieve this on your desktop, please set your enter key not to send the message. You can do that in the settings preference. You can do that. So uh, let me send this now. You see what it looks like. See, see, look at it. Beautifully formatted. This is what happens in Magdalene as well. This is how you produce those big words, those words that look big, look fast, look this one, look smaller, the lines. 
it's all syntax so i'm creating two markdown files here uh, example.md and readme.md uh, readme.md is the one that gets uh, displayed here by default but both of them actually uses the same syntax so let's go let's do this if i put hash put space and say this is the biggest header and uh, let me type something here let's see it is just like h1 tag in watch i'm going to put back tick here html and another back tick here see what will happen to html because of those back ticks that i put at the beginning and the end so uh, watch what will happen to this as well watch it i want to push it to git so i've saved i'm pushing sorry i push the script i don't do the normal git add git uh, commit so don't let don't let that confuse you okay now let me refresh this page um now this oh this is not exactly what i wanted let me edit that file and then edit that file okay so i'm going to put a back tick here and put another one here yes so i will save it and push it to kill again So let's go here. I'll refresh this page. Yeah, this is what I wanted. So look at this is the, look at how this is looking big and the other one is looking smaller. There's a line there by default. I mean, I didn't do any special design. It's just some syntax that I typed. You know, that is put this in it. Now let's um, do something to this one as well, just to show you that they, so long as it has .md, they are actually um, the same kind of file. okay so let's push the grid and see what it looks like it won't be displayed by default but i have to click on the file to see um, what was happening oh this is embarrassing i've lost my connection <laughs> sorry about that please you can visit the uh, repository to see what and check out the file example.md see what it looks like you know the results that was produced what i just typed now okay so for now <laughs> i'm going to say uh, i'm going to stop here for now i've so feel free to brush the sources and learn how to and learn the same tag for now like subscribe and do want to follow me on these platforms i have the same username t paul dk thank you very much for watching